the Heroes Comic Con. Um, this is a big experience for you, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm very excited to be here. Um, it's. Uh, I enjoy going to Comic Cons and meet the fans and um, yeah, just enjoy the the lovely atmosphere. <laughs> Did you know when you were cast uh, to do this really specific and different job that all this will come after all these conventions? No, I, I had no idea that... Um, I, I, I knew they existed, but I didn't know that people appeared like, like I am doing now. And I also thought that even though it's a very iconic character, I thought people would not be interested in me. So. I was very surprised when, when people started showing interest. <laughs> How does it feel when you go to work and you know you're working for uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the Star Wars Universe? Well, uh, when I did uh, Marvel, I had just begun acting. I'd acted for around five months. Uh, so uh, I really felt like an imposter, like, they're gonna find out I'm not really an actress <laughs> so I was very nervous um, on my way to set but once I got there everyone was so nice and friendly and and uh, they treated me very well even though I just had a couple of lines and yeah so so that took the, the nervousness away and then you realize it's just another film set of course everything is much bigger and the budget is great but you're doing the same job and you just got to focus on on your job so at the end it's just you and the camera yes, exactly. <laughs> But when you did the Star Wars, uh, there was the, the Carrie Fisher thing. Uh, sh she she knew of this. Did you did you get any did you have any sort of of contact with her? Well, I I knew that she knew of uh, the cameo that that she would appear, but I didn't know for a long time like whether or not she was happy about it. So. I was very relieved when I later heard that she approved of it and she thought it was funny and yeah, enjoyed that there was a little uh, sort of uh, uh, tribute to her. So otherwise I, was, I would feel very bad because I really admire her and respect her and I still can't believe that she's gone. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that her that affects us all fans and not fans alike. And, and I guess for you playing that role so recently, hit even harder yeah yeah it's um, it all happened so quickly like one thing after the other like just a couple of weeks after the film came out so that was very intense and I felt very um, nervous about how people would feel uh, like the fans uh, but going to these conventions everyone seems to be very positive and welcoming and, and sort of um, yeah welcoming in me into the Star Wars universe and, and, and the fandom so I feel very, very lucky in that regard, and, and uh, of course, you can never replace Carrie Fisher. I just hope that the the Rogue One cameo could sort of be a, a tribute to her. And yeah. <laughs> Good. That's th that's great. So, what what's next? Uh, any more big franchises that <laughs> you want to be part of? Well, I I'd love to to keep on doing films. Uh, for me, at the end of the day, like what matters more than the budget and the prestige is if it's a good script or not and if I believe in the director's vision then I don't care about the budget but uh, of course there are many many series and films I would love to be a part of if, if they want me <laughs> any any um, are you fan of sci-fi sci superhero comic booky stuff yeah I, I, I think I like sci-fi more than uh, superheroes uh, but I, I love fantasy and, and sci-fi in particular. That's yeah. Is there anything that if you could say, I would really love to. You've already been Star Wars, but <laughs> and in Avengers, but is there anything that you say, oh, I would really love to get to be a part of? Well, uh, I mean, it's too late now. But Blade Runner would have been great. I really love Blade Runner. Uh, or like Westworld, or Game of Thrones, or any any sci-fi fantasy. <laughs> yeah, they're really dark and twisted mm, yes. sci-fi fantasy, is that? Well, yeah, I do like it when there's a bit more uh, sort of um, like philosophical uh, grit to it that, that it makes you think it's not just the entertainment and the cool action sequences and the cool spaceships, but if there's something more uh, human un underneath like real real emotions and yeah, makes you think. <laughs> now, uh, going back to Star Wars, uh, on set, you were on the ship, on the on the famous ship, uh, and you were dressed 
like that, and even though you you had all your CGI uh, thingies on, uh, the feeling it, that that was yeah yeah it was a very a very strange sensation. I remember uh, the first time they had done the costume like perfectly because it took a long time to f figure out the dress and get it just right. And I remember like feeling everyone in the room just like, oh yeah, there it is. Like like she's she's back in a way. And 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 that was very strange to be the, the person. I didn't feel like myself. I just felt I was sort of personifying the character again. And and it was such a, a great honor and, and a, a bit scary, but also great fun. <laughs> no, in a way, uh, people are recognizing you, and you're getting all this attention at the conventions and. Well, is, does it pay off uh, when you haven't been able to show your face and your work in, in film, the, the later recognition? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I treat all of this just as a bonus because I didn't expect it. And I'm just very glad that the, the Star Wars fans uh, enjoy what I did and, and, and feeling the love and, and care from them is, is great. Um, and I was never sad that they would change my face. I knew that from the start and I was just very intrigued to see how far they could push the technology and it was my goal too that it looked like her not like me so that was totally fun. Anything we can see you next? What's next? What's, wh where can we look for you? Well um, I'm doing a Brazilian film in January in the Netherlands it's called uh, Escape from Brazil by Bruno Deck and uh, I, I play the female lead it's a crime drama so that should be a, a very good film to look out for. Good, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. So, uh, if you would like to say goodbye to all our viewers and readers and visitors of, of the web, uh, it's this uh, e cartelera. E cartelera. E cartelera, so goodbye, Ingvil. <laughs> and thank you very much, Ingvil. It was so lovely.